Hi, Giselle. Um, welcome to Cover Bind today. I'm so happy that you are taking over the reign of this important and much loved uh, talk show. I can't wait for you to start. And if you need any help, I'm always here. Welcome back to Cup of Bayan today. We've got Cher Calvin on the show, and before we went to break, we were talking about the awesome work that she has done um, raising money for Typhoon Haiyan victims. So, Cher, tell us how you were able to get this all rolling, because I understand that you really spearheaded this project. You went to your bosses and you said, this is something we really have to do. Right, so it, it all began because on Saturday, um, when we saw the devastation, when I, I was watching the news and I saw just how horrible the super typhoon was, I said, we gotta do something. And so I called every person I know that's a leader in the Filipino community, and um, I said, I need your help. We have to do something. What can we do as a, a, together that will raise money or raise awareness or whatever it is? We cannot let this go by. Less than 24 hours, they were at my home. We were discussing this. Uh, Winston Imamano was one of the people, yes, Ted Benito, yes. Patrick Agulis, mm -hmm. um, Agulus, um, uh, Lou Razon, Eric Araya, Oliver Tolentino, and, and his partner, Andrew. Yes. Um, so it's really important when you really want to do something, you get the community together mm -hmm. and get them on board with you. And they and and it, we brainstormed. We brainstormed for two hours, and we came up with, listen, you've got KTLA. Do you think that they would do something like a telethon? Yeah. And I said, I don't think we've ever done one, but let let me ask. Wow. Right. Let, right. You, you have to ask. Right. You, you, the answer was always going to be no if you don't ask. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, if there's anything that we're going to learn from this interview, right. always ask, even though you know that the answer is no, because you never know. Because you never know. And I walked into my boss's office, Jason Ball, and I said, listen, you know, this is, we have to do something. I'm Filipino. I mean, everybody knows I'm Filipino. We have to do something. Right. He goes, I know we do. What do you have in mind? And I said, well, can we do a telethon? And he says, done. Calls everybody in. No, goosebumps, right? I mean, yeah, goosebumps. exactly. Goosebumps. He says, done. Let's do it. And called in um, the executive producer for special projects and the whole team to his office, and that was it. He says, she wants to do a telethon. Make it happen. Let's do it on Sunday. Wow. That like that fast, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and how much money did you raise? And we raised one hundred fifty-two thousand dollars for the Red Cross. Um, I think that you know because it was our first telethon, we were our phones were jammed, wow. and so a lot of donations had to go online. But the the number that we raised from the telephone um, uh, donations were one hundred fifty-two thousand, and we raised a lot more via the the web because, like I said, it was so jam packed. We didn't. It was our first time, you know, and then to be recognized um, by the the Television Academy. Yeah, for which is this. only which is only the highest honor Ooh. that television the television industry can give you. Yeah, I mean to be recognized by them months later, you know, is a testament to the dedication that the team at KTLA has and the compassion that they have, because it, it wasn't things things show on TV. You know what I mean? Yeah. You and and you can tell when people have a passion for something, you know, and that they that they that they really need, um, you know, your support, and that's what we got. And then the re the Television Academy recognizing that, on, on top of it, that we we helped our you know our mother our our yes. our community. Not only that, but also our fellow Filipinos back home. It's very touching. Yeah. It really because is. Because this is not an American thing. Yes. But it's, it's a Filipino thing that became American. Right. And that's what Kababayan Today is all about, exactly. right? It's about being Filipino-American and understanding how we're able to help our own fellow Filipinos. Mm -hmm. So as we know, this isn't going to, that's not the end of all the disasters no, that, that are going to happen. No, it's bad there, yeah. What are your thoughts on what's happening in the Philippines and what we can do from here? Because it's, it's tough, you know, we do feel isolated from the Philippines, but as we know, typhoons and all this devastation will continue to happen. You know, I think that social media plays a very big role now in um, providing people with information and also providing people with a voice. I think that, um, you know, through Twitter, through Instagram, and through Facebook, you're finding that people are more informed about the situation politically um, in the Philippines as well as uh, domestically and the disasters that happen there. Uh, I think that 
you know, years ago, we didn't have that opportunity to really know what's happening on the ground because we didn't have as many eyes or ears or yes. or video or whatever it might be posts right. to tell people. Right, and now it's it's instantaneous, right? It is, and so I it's think very that exciting. yeah, and I think that brings people a little bit closer to home. And mm -hmm. and when that happens, and you feel the passion to do something for whoever it is, I mean, touching one person can touch just so many. Right, which means get on social media, mga lolo, lola, <laughs> tita, tito, sige na, mag-sign up na kayo sa Twitter para nalalaman nyo kung anong nangyayari sa Pilipinas. And speaking of the Philippines, uh, not a lot of people know that Cher is actually a do the daughter of a very big movie star from the 60s in the Philippines. Pagbalik natin dito sa Kababayan Today, kakusapin natin si Tita Roger, ang tatay ni Cher na nandito ngayon. So don't go away, we'll be right back.